Hello, I'm Josie Smith. We're here at Blair Castle International Horse Trials and I'm joined by Sally Coots who is fundraising for a very pertinent cause, Sally. I'm fundraising for equine grass sickness, um, which is a very, very prevalent uh, disease, especially on the east coast of Scotland, and back to it worldwide, actually. I don't think people realise how wide it is spread. Um, but uh, we are trying to now, now uh, to get a vaccine for it, and because there is one, but we've got to now do trials, and uh, trials obviously cost a lot of money because um, they've got to cover a lot of different uh, studs and a lot of different people who have suffered from grass sickness. And, uh, uh, so this is our big push now, is to get the vaccine and the trials going. Um, it's a big thing now because we do at last think, or they do think, that it is caused by a Clostridium botulinum. Yeah, I was going to say, Sally, for the viewers out there who are lucky enough, thankfully, not to have had to deal with grass sickness in the past, can you tell us a little bit about it? I can indeed. There's a, a chronic uh, form and then there's a less chronic uh, a more severe one and it can I have had I suppose over the years which is quite long years for me um, I suppose I've had about 10 or 12 cases and every one of them had to be put down and it's a most terrible disease to see uh, it affects the, uh, the nerve ends uh, on, and the digestive system and they cannot eat or drink and they just uh, literally fade away uh, with great pain a sort of colic often of people begin to think it's colic and then you get the vets and things and you realize it isn't colic it's grass sickness and it's nearly always fatal you touched on there sally though that you believe that obviously the research teams trying to combat grass sickness have identified what causes it Yes, they think it's Clostridium botulinum, uh, 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 which is in the gut of a horse anyway, and it's brought off on by stress, um, such as bad weather. I mean, nobody quite knows what the stress, but there are certain things that you try not to do yes. in the spring when it's prevalent, or in the autumn when it's more prevalent, such as moving horses around the countryside, putting them on fresh herbage. Uh, um, and it can be caused just literally by... Uh, east wind or frost off in the night and lovely sunny days. Nobody knows exactly what twi literally trips it all off, but it does happen and uh, it's very, very upsetting when it does. And we are really hoping we're going to, you know, find a cure and the vaccine would be that. But you've come up with a great way to raise money to try and fund finding this cure. So tell us about your lunch, Sally. Well, we're having a grass a, a, a lunch at Strathallan Castle, which is a lovely castle uh, belonging to a friend of mine uh, down in Perthshire, near Perth. Um, and it's uh, we're hoping to have about 200 and plus uh, visitors there. And, and uh, people are being very, very generous. We've got a huge auction of the most fantastic things, such as um, golf at Glen Eagles and um, uh, days at the Highland Show and uh, race days and practically all the race courses in Scotland. I could go on and on forever, but I do hope, you know, the auction is going to be fantastic. And lots of beef and lamb and all sorts of things. And a few horsey things as well. Okay, this sounds delicious, Sally, and very interesting. How much are the tickets if any of our viewers would like to purchase the one? Tickets are £25, and uh, they can be purchased from the grass sickness tent, which is literally uh, next door to BHS tent, and next door to, practically next door to your tent here, just one down. Okay. And they've got tickets there and um, they'll be delighted to see anybody who would like to come and we would be delighted to see them on the day. So for anyone that wants to maybe get in touch with you that's not at Blair this weekend, Sally, or maybe some of our viewers have been inspired to donate or to help the cause, do you have an email address we can I get in touch with you on? Yes, yes. it's salcoots at btinternet.com. Couldn't be easier. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Sally, and thanks for talking to us. I'm wishing you all the best with your lunch. Thank you so much for letting me talk to you. <laughs> Not at all. Sally Coots. Bye.